Hello everyone, this is Charlie from HotTipCentral.com and today's tutorial is all about Google Plus and Facebook and bringing them together to make it easy and simple for you to leave status updates on both networks simultaneously. Uh, many of you have been doing this on Twitter and Facebook as well because both of these uh, both of these websites have great tools and apps to connect both of them together with your accounts so that you can connect them both together and when you leave a status update on Twitter it will automatically post to Facebook too. Currently Google Plus is pretty new and there isn't really anything on there like that to do it. However, Google Plus has all of the tools you already need to do this built right in. And Facebook has a feature that's actually key to it too so both of them are really contributing. So uh, let's just get started and I'll teach you guys how to do this. This is how to connect both of your, your Facebook account and your Google Plus account uh, together. And of course, you're going to need a Facebook account and you're also going to need a Google Plus account in order to do this as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm logged into Facebook right now and we're going to go ahead and just visit my personal profile just so you can see uh, right here. And you'll notice that there is no status update. It's pretty blank. Uh, I have a little cracked article that I read earlier, but other than that, it's pretty blank. And uh, we're also going to load up Google Plus. So let's log into Google Plus. And you can see right here is my stream, uh, my profile. I'll link this right here. And you can see the last known thing that my profile has published is right here on Google Plus. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two with Facebook's uh, post status update by email feature. It's a very useful feature that some people are using to post status updates to Facebook with their email address. To access this, we're going to go into the URL bar up here, and you're going to want to type in facebook.com slash mobile. That will bring you to this little page where it kind of introduces you to how to post to Facebook uh, from mobile devices or while you're on the go. And you're, you're going to want to look for the uh, preference or mobile product down here that says upload via email, and that's right here. Next, you're going to want to get to your Facebook.com. Uh, you're going to want to find your email address right here. Um, you can change this anytime, so uh, don't worry about don't worry about using mine because it's certainly not going to work. Um, and so, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and just highlight this and copy it, and then you're going to want to go to Google Plus and we're going to use circles for this. So navigate to the top bar here. There's these four little buttons here. You have home, photos, profile, and circles. And we're going to go to circles. And this you'll get to see everyone that you're connected with and all the circles that you currently have as well. You're going to want to add a new circle. You can do this by finding the blank circle over here on the left. Simply hit create circle. That will load up this little box here. And you can name this really whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Facebook for now. And you need to add at least one person to the circle to make the circle. Of course, you can add an empty circle, but it's kind of pointless to do that. Click on Add a New Person, and then just go ahead and slap that email address that you have right into the box here, and click Add. Now you're going to need to name the person. Again, you can probably just name it Facebook if you want. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead, hit Save, and then create the circle with one person. Now after the circle's been created, you will find it down here in your group of circles. There it is, nice little Facebook circle. And uh, that's it, that's your Facebook upload is right there and ready to go. So how do you post to Facebook? Well, you post to Facebook at the same time as Google Plus by posting to Google Plus. Uh, so you can just be here and it'll post to your Facebook page. In a sense, this method makes Google Plus your primary uh, social network. At least that's how the Twitter thing works. You can be on Twitter and then upload to Facebook without even going to Facebook. In this example, you can upload to Facebook without even going to Facebook. You can just stay on Google Plus. And so the first update I'm going to say is I'm just going to say testing Google Plus to Facebook status. And that's it. That's my gonna. That's gonna be my post here. Now you're gonna notice right now. We'll go back to Facebook Mobile. We'll go back to my profile, and you're gonna see that there is just nothing here. There's nothing uh, here yet. And right here, you want to add more people. Uh, you can add as many people as you want to the status update. But as long as you've selected the Facebook circle to be part of this, then you're good. You'll notice this this little checkbox here. It says also email one person that's good you want to do that because by emailing this this becomes the status update 
It's very cool. So when I hit share here, you're going to see the status update is now in the stream right here. Testing Google Plus to Facebook status here. And if I click on my profile, you'll see that it is has appeared here as well as my most recent status at 11.11. And if I go back to my profile page and refresh, you'll see also six seconds ago via email, I also posted testing Google Plus to Facebook status right on my Facebook profile. So that's, there you go, that's a very easy way to connect two of them together and you can post to both networks simultaneously with just a click of a button.